Carpetbagger here coming to you live from the north. More specifically, we are in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. I'm currently in a parking garage. Now, uh, if you know me, if you've been following this channel, you know that I'm kind of on an endless search for new dark rides. I um, That's probably one of the things I'm most enthusiastic about it is finding dark rides, experiencing them. So always looking, I, I, I rode most the, the dark rides in the United States of America, but I, I'm constantly searching for, for new dark rides that I could possibly, uh, possibly check out. And I just became aware of a dark ride uh, earlier this year that I was not previously aware of, and that is here in Toronto, Ontario, Canada, in a amusement park called Centerville Amusement Park. It's actually on an island out in uh, Lake Ontario, here uh, from downtown, uh, Toronto. Now when I looked up some information on this park, one of the first things that came up was uh, people saying this is the most difficult <laughs> amusement park to visit. So uh, like I said, it is on an island off the coast of Toronto. We are right in downtown, like the heart of the city, the busiest part of Toronto, right on, uh, right on the, 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 the coast of Lake Ontario. So uh, driven into the city, Got a, a parking spot right here. I think it'll come out to, oh, where's my car? There's my car. It'll come out to about uh, $25, I think when all things are said and done, $25 Canadian. So it'll be a little cheaper um, American. You can always kind of figure Canadian prices are a little, when you convert them to a, to the, the US dollar, it ends up being a little cheaper. So uh, drove into the city, parked the car here, at the garage in downtown, very busy. Like coming into the city, there's just so many people here today. And uh, yes, yeah, so, but I was able to find a parking spot fairly easily. I, you know, I look for just look for parking signs. Um, there's a lot of open spots in this uh, in this uh, garage, so parking wasn't that much of a concern. Was, but mostly just getting into Toronto, the traffic. So uh, now uh, I got to find the ferry, get on the ferry, and take the ferry to the amusement park. So you got to drive in, park, get on the ferry, uh, take the ferry to the amusement park. So it's almost, you know, that's almost the same way you get into Magic Kingdom. You got to park and then you take a boat. Yeah, so it's, it's not much different than, uh, than Magic Kingdom. So yeah, I'm really excited. They do have, supposedly, you know, uh, supposedly they do have a dark ride that I've not rode on this island, this mysterious island off the coast of Toronto. So please, Follow me. And pardon my pronunciation, but how do you, how do you pronounce this word? Is it, is it Queens, Queens Quay? Queens Quay West? Take the elevator over here. Oh cool, automatic doors. Going up. All right, so uh, we want two or ground, we'll see. Get off the ground. Oh yeah, there we go. Head out onto the streets of Toronto. All right. Now where is that ferry? All right, we arrived here at the Jack Layton Ferry Terminal, and there is a huge line to uh, to get on the ferry. Got, I guess we got to get in line to buy our tickets and uh, board the ferry. So you figure, you, ugh, trying to even figure out where the uh, end of the line is here. Okay, there's a very long line, but it does appear to be moving. All right, it was $9.11 Canadian to get the round trip uh, ticket to, to go to Centerville Island and back. 
All right, headed into the dock area here. Okay, there are three islands here. We have Hanlon's Island over there, Ward's Island over there, and Center Island here in the middle. That's the one we want. So there's three different islands the ferries go to. I think all three islands used for leisure. But here on Center Island is where we have the amusement park. We got a lot of people going to Center Island. Hopefully we all uh, we all fit on the boat. Everybody packing into the boat here. Oh, it looks like looks like we got plenty of life jackets there up in the rafters. People continuing to pour into the boat here. Now it's my understanding there's there, there's more to do on the island than just the amusement park. So a lot of people come to do different things on Center Island. All right. Our voyage has departed. Look at that building up there. Looks interesting how it's stacked all uneven. Looks like we could have taken a water taxi. Absolute beautiful view of the Toronto skyline there. You can see the CN Tower towering over the city. Coming up on Center Island, a very short little trip over here. Here's where the water taxis congregate. See, there's actually a pirate taxi there. And we have officially arrived on Center Island. Now here's something you don't see in the States too often. A telephone booth. Oh my goodness. This is an operational telephone booth. I don't, there's no dial tone. I think it works though. I think you gotta maybe put your credit card. Oh wait, there we go. We got the, we got the Got the dial tone there. Oh. I'm on my way. So I think this is the path here that'll take us to the amusement park. As far as being the most difficult amusement park to get to, I would say it definitely takes some commitment if you are an out of towner. I'd say if you know if you lived in the city, if you were in the Toronto area, it'd be much easier to to find you know public transportation over to here. Hop on, hop on the ferry, go out to the island and enjoy enjoy a day on the island. But when you know when you're driving into the city, parking, taking the ferry, it um, you know it does take some effort. But you know what? It's effort that I'm willing to take. And we have arrived at Centerville Amusement Park. So yes, yeah, there's our mascot there, Mr. Beasley Bear. So looks like he's uh, maybe in a constant state of celebrating his birthday. All right, so let's check out Centerville amusement park the kids up there balloons and ice cream we have a spinning bee ride here no no not the bees so i mentioned it was about 25 to park about nine to take the ferry but to actually enter the park is free however you do have to pay for either uh, tickets or a wristband 
All right, so I have my wristband. They also stamp my hand so I know what day it is and I don't try to hide on the island and get free rides tomorrow. So this was $50 Canadian, so I guess $50 for the band, $9 for the ferry, and $25 for parking. So that's what, $85? So, in Canadian, so it's a little cheaper uh, if you flip that over to uh, American dollars. See they have a train here, but unfortunately the train is not currently operational. Uh, apparently they had some bad flooding some years back, and the train hasn't reopened uh, since then. See the twirling bears here. Some people actually inside the tummies of the bears as they spin around. It's kind of a kinder, gentler version of the tilt-a-whirl, being inside the warm, cozy belly of a bear in yellow overalls. They have a fairly unique uh, Ferris wheel here. It's the antique windmill ride. So it is a, a, a Ferris wheel. But it's actually built to look like a windmill. So I don't know what the policy is for single riders on Ferris wheels in Canada. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna show see if they let me on the ride. and our chariot awaits. Oh, oh wow, oh there we go, okay. Oh whoa, all right. Headed up here uh, to the top. Are they, whoa, where they load the, load the bottom there. And it has been a while since I've been in a, a Ferris wheel. I got turned away so many times because a lot of the ones, uh, at least the ones in, in the United States, they say no single riders for a variety of, of reasons that have that I've not quite been able to figure out yet but uh, yeah here they allowed me to ride as a single rider and oh no I think it's gonna I hear I think it's gonna start moving here oh my gosh there we go we're going I forgot how terrifying Ferris wheels were oh there we go we're stopped stopped at the tippy top although there is a great view up here you can see the skyline of Toronto from the top of this uh, this Ferris wheel. You can see the bears twirling around down there. Okay, here we go. I think we're going full force around the wheel. Oh my goodness. There we go. Oh boy. With all these all this time I haven't been riding Ferris wheels. I forgot how terrifying they were. Here we go. Around the, around the loop here. Oh my goodness. Oh, and around again. Let's peek at uh, peek at Toronto there. And of course, we got to check out the carousel, and they have a very, very old carousel here. This is from 19. Oh. Seven. Let's look at some of the animals here. So yeah, this one has a lot of unique animals. See the deer there. It's a couple of bunnies. There's a few, a few cats in there. There's the pigs. See so, yeah, a very colorful antique carousel. 1907. Well, this carousel was actually from Bushkill Park in Pennsylvania. I've actually been there a few years ago visited Bushkill Park. It's a, it's a very classic theme park. Unfortunately, they had a lot of flood damage uh, in, in current times that, have, that have, has kind of destroyed some of the, the park there. But anyways, this was, this was actually uh, purchased by Centerville Amusement Park prior to that when they brought, that, they brought this over and moved it to Canada. Uh, they were actually going to sell this a few years ago after they had their catastrophic flood. They needed some money, generate some money to uh, to put back into the park. So they were going to sell this to the city of Carmel, Indiana. And uh, apparently, the the things didn't go through. They found other ways to uh, to get money to uh, invest into the park, and the carousel was saved here, at least in Centerville. I do also appreciate the uh, the homeless clown there. 
He's got his pockets turned inside out because uh, he ain't got no money. All right, what are we riding today? Oh, I do love these cats. It's the different fishes in their mouth. Unfortunately, I just rode a cat just a few days ago at uh, Greenfield Village. Let's find something besides a cat to ride. Okay, let's go for these giant rabbits here. I think I wanna hop aboard a giant bunny. I do appreciate these uh, faces here on the inside of the carousel. Very menacing. Another day, another carousel. I've really been kind of digging into the world of carousels, I'm trying to ride as many as possible. I'm trying to ride different creatures every time. So we can add, uh, add a giant bunny to that list. Again, if you guys know of any interesting carousels, please leave a comment in the comment section letting me know what I should check out. You gotta hold on to the rabbit ears for safety. Centerville, Toronto Islands is fun for everyone. Some games over here. This is Fat Albert and the knockdown games. Here you knock down the little carnival punks there from the shelf. Centerville is for fun. This is Granny Reed's Scrub a Tub. Boat ride. Little bumper boats. They're out, out in a real body of water too. That's really cool. Over here they have a sky ride. So I guess we'll take the sky ride and uh, take a bird's eye view of the park. When I come back, it's down, right? All right, here it comes. And here we head Skyforth. The little tiny cars riding around there on the track. Look down at all the little people enjoying Centerville Amusement Park. I don't know, where is this, uh, where's the sky ride taking us exactly? See the little boats twirling there in the water. All right, looks like we're headed above a farm here. It's a far enough farm. Oh, okay, so a little gliding over. Oh, I see a see a goat down there on a picnic table. Some giant pairs of dice there for the goats to play with. Okay, I don't think I've ever seen a, a sky ride over a petting zoo. That's kind of a uh, that's kind of cool. You can see the some alpacas down there in the pen. See some kayaks there in the river. Oh, there we go. Spotted uh, Toronto once again. So it looks like this is the type of sky ride that uh, is, is one way, so it doesn't let people off here at the other end. We just kind of do a, do a spin and then head back from whence we came. And we're headed into the spin. Big wheel there turns us. Whoop. And there we're headed back from whence we came. Yeah, I really love this sky ride here. It takes you over the amusement park, takes you over the farm, takes you over the river where people are canoeing and kayaking. It's a very beautiful sky ride here at uh, Centerville Amusement Park. 
Oh, look at the pig down there. Hey, piggy. Hey, piggy. That looks like piggies. Piggy's taking a nap. Hey, piggy. Pig probably gets sick of people from the sky shouting at him all day. No goats on the table. Looks like they got a roller coaster over here. The Toronto Island Mine Coaster. Have to check that out once we get back to Earth. Descending back towards planet Earth. You too. Over here, we have Centerville Courthouse and Town Hall. And it looks like they have a museum inside. Let's check that out. All right, I'm informed that there's no longer no longer a museum in there. Although apparently they can do licenses, marriage license, dog and cat license, motor license. Are they saying that they'll marry your dog and cat to each other? The swan rides over here in the river. One number nine, please return to the dogs. One number nine, please return to the dogs. It's an indoor bounce house here called Kermit Fogg's Swamp Shop. His name, is, his name is Kermit Fogg, but he is a frog. He's not Kermit Frog, he's Kermit Fogg. Certainly not Kermit the Frog. Little antique fire trucks over here. Now this is the reason, this is the reason we traveled here to Center Island. This is the reason we parked in busy downtown Toronto, got on a ferry, and sailed out here to Centerville Amusement Park. This is the Haunted Barrel Works, their haunted dark ride. See, this is a barrel of fun. We got some ghosts there in the barrel. This is a barrel of laughs as well. We got a spooky head poking out there, a spider. And why not? In the queue ride here, we have uh, we have a small barbed wire museum. Why not? Best to learn about barbed wire while you're about ready to get on a super spooky dark ride. Looking back here, you can see all these haunted barrels. See this guy here? It says Rochdale or Bust. That's a uh, it's a reference that I don't uh, that I don't get. But uh, yeah, let's hop aboard one of these haunted barrels and go for a ride. Here's today's ride conditions. It's 100% dark, 40% spooky. And how scary is this ride? It's pretty scary. All right, our chariot awaits up here. See some very spooky things. Our employee of the month is Stephen King because he's so spooky. Let's get in uh, our car here. Oh, look at that pirate right there. But, all right, boarding, boarding the barrel. Oh, here we go, past the pirate, into the doors. Spooky, beware. Oh, what's happening? See some flashing lights. Oh! Super loud in here, and dark. Oh, is that some sort of, some sort of mummy monster? Oh, who's that? Oh, that's some sort of gorilla. Ah! <laughs> what was that? Oh, it's that one. Oh, what's happening in here? What is that, a spider, I think? Ah! Oh, Frankenstein. Frankenstein was in a witch's cauldron. Oh, there's the pirate shooting at us. What's in there? Did you see that? <laughs> oh, it's like an optical illusion. Oh, okay, this part here, this looks like the old uh, Bill Tracy style uh, dark ride. Oh, it's collapsing on us. Barrel Works is collapsing as we head. 
out here. Well, this lab is overgrown. The organ right there. Oh, what a, what a scary noise. Oh, look at that. Oh, I got his head dropped. His head dropped off. Oh, dynamite barrels and they're back. Oh my gosh, that was, that was awesome. All right. And yes, I think we need to hop right back aboard. All right, back in the saddle. These rides are interesting. You hold on to the sides right here. There's nothing actually going across your lap. So beware. Let's see if we can remember what happens here. Uh, the flashing light, <laughs> loud disorientating noises. Uh, there's the mummy. That chicken noises with the mummy? This guy hanging by his neck. Gorilla face. Big weird skull man. Screaming head. That says terror death right there. Big fluffy spider. Frankenstein. Frankenstein in a cauldron. Oh, there's the organ player. I don't know if I noticed him first time. Yeah. There's the pirate shooting at us like a crazy person. Something wailing around in there. The noise is hilarious. And then here we go down the endless, the endless uh, tunnel here. Ah, oh, see the laps. Who rode all over these? The laboratory here. It gets dark. Someone's leg. Oh yeah. A woman with no skin, I think that was. And then this is really cool. The, the guillotine. Decapitation. Floating barrels. And back to reality. Oh. See all these things on the wall here. The different traps and items. So always exciting to get to ride a dark ride for the first time. I had a lot of fun in there. Love the, the goofiness. The, uh, I think it makes the chicken noise when the mummy pops out of you. Lots of weird and creepy things popping out in the dark. Some fun effects. Love the, uh, the guillotine chopping chopping the head off there. Uh, and then there was like the, 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 the tunnel with the breaking beam. Seemed like it was at least Bill Tracy inspired. Bill Tracy, the, the king of dark rides, made a lot of dark rides uh, back in the golden age of dark rides. I'm not sure if he had any connection to this or any of the props in there, but if not, he definitely there was definitely some, some inspiration taken there. So wow, yeah, another, uh, another dark ride uh, off the list here. We got uh, the Haunted Barrel Works here at Centerville Amusement Park in Toronto. Notice this from the sky ride. It's some sort of giant moose. It's almost decorated like a carousel moose. I don't think I've ever rode on a uh, moose on a carousel. Also, he's got a Canadian geese there, Canadian goose on his shoulder. All right, so let's check out the roller coaster here, the Toronto Island Mine Coaster. Riding all the way in the back. It's the wildest ride. Here we go. On the mine train here. Oh my gosh. Oh jeez. Oh gosh. Oh my god. <laughs> oh goodness. I've talked about this before, the, the kiddie coasters are some of the roughest. Oh my gosh! The big giant ones are smooth, but little ones like this really kind of knock you around. Oh! <laughs> Alright. There we go. 
the back end of the station there. Oh, there we go. Then here under the sky ride, we have the farm that we saw as we cruised over top of it on uh, on the sky ride. Some uh, happy little animals there. We got a cross-eyed cow. This peacock's cross-eyed as well. Hey, baby goats! What are you guys doing? Just hanging out, chewing some hay. This bird cage over here. Some ducks hanging out in the kiddie pool. And there's a uh, white uh, white peacock over there. You enjoying your hay there, Mr. Steer? Got people flying over your head all day. You just uh, sit down here and, and eat your hay and don't even think about it. Looks like we can go inside this big barn over here. Check out these barn cats just <laughs> relaxing here in front of the barn. Hey little one, what are you doing? This little kitten here looks like he's squaring off with this uh, older, grumpier black cat. Hey there! Hey little kitty! How are you doing? Yeah, just a lazy cat day afternoon here at uh, Centerville. Let me see what animals they have in here. There's some little bunnies, little fluffy bunnies down there. Oh, look at this. That's the tiniest horse I've ever seen. Hey, pony. Oh my gosh. That's a, that's a pony, and then that's a baby pony. I used to think ponies were baby horses. Turns out, completely false. Ponies are a form of miniature horses, but there's actually a, another type of miniature horse called miniature horses. But uh, these are pretty cute, aren't they? I wish they'd turn around and look at us, but you know, horses horses don't like to look at people. A little guinea pig in there. How you doing, little pig? Hey there. Oh. Hey, little biggies. Oh, there's the, there's a little baby pony there. It's so tiny. Here's Coots Cattle Corral. Oh, I've not seen this before. We have bumper cars shaped like bulls. Oh, locking horns there. Oh, they ram people with the, the horns of the bull. Oh, that was some, the Ted's impact there. Oh yeah, that's, that's pretty fun. Here we have the Erie Light and Sound Scrambler ride. So there must be a scrambler inside of this building here. All right, here we are. Oh my goodness. It's a big scrambler here in the middle of this barn. Let's find our scrambler car here. This one, this one looks good. I just noticed this big creepy face up here. All right, buckled into the scrambler car here i'm anticipating there's probably gonna be some you know maybe some light effects some music going on here in uh in just a moment i can't stop uh i can't stop looking at this big weird face there uh-oh the lights just went off oh wait a minute we got some music <laughs> oh my goodness oh that's crazy Oh, there we go. Oh, goodness. Ah! 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 Oh my gosh. Just look at this nonsense in here. Oh, jeez, there's a big... Oh, okay. oh my god. Ah! Oh. Oh. 
Oh, let this end now! Oh, God! Oh. Why? Why is this happening? Why? How do I find myself in these situations? Oh. Oh, it's so nauseous. Oh, you guys supposed to close your eyes. Ah. Oh, that was intense. Oh, oh, there we go. Apparently this scrambler here is 25% scramblier. And here we have the flume, the Saw Green Lumber Company. This little lumberjack here says, I am sm too small to ride on this ride without someone responsible how do you, how do you over four feet tall. So he's not uh, responsible enough to ride the log flume, but he is responsible enough to handle an ax on his own. All right, let's see how soggy this uh, particular flume is. Here we go. Okay, that's only, uh, that's only lightly soggy. Yeah, let's, uh, oh. Splash over the edge there. Let's uh, hop on the log here and uh, cool off a little bit. And my log awaits. Oh. All right, easy little river here as we cruise down, getting ready for our uh, plunge of terror. Getting ready to, to head up the hill here. Oh, the sun. There we go, straight up. I'll be headed straight down here in a moment. Oh, oh over the top. And, oh geez. Ah! <laughs> oh, all right, at least, I didn't, at least I didn't get you wet. <laughs> and here we go. The gentleman asked if I wanted to go again, and I was like, sure. Well, uh, We'll do some double fluming today. Here we go. Oh, jeez. Ah! <laughs> and I do believe it is time to make our way back to the ferry. As we walk over here towards the dock, you can see just how close we are to downtown uh, Toronto. Just a little bit of the lake separating uh, Center Island from the big city. See our ferry coming in to the dock here. That is packed with people. Oh my goodness, there is quite a few people packing themselves onto this boat. All right, we made it. <laughs> made it onto the boat. Oh, there's a lot of people here. Well, sir, I would have to honestly disagree with you. Oh, yeah. That's Wow, that boat had a lot of people on it. It's the Jack Layton Terminal, of course, and here is a statue of Jack Layton inviting you to hop aboard his uh, bicycle built for two. over there. And so we have 
survive. We have made the treacherous route from downtown Toronto to Center Island and back. Mission accomplished. We got to ride the Haunted Barrel Works dark ride on Center Island. Yeah, it is, definitely is a time commitment. You gotta, you gotta get into Toronto, you gotta park your car, you gotta get walk to the ferry, you gotta get on the ferry, you gotta take the ferry to the island, get off the ferry, walk to the amusement park. So yeah, it's a uh, it, it's it's definitely a day. This is not going to be like a short pop in and out uh, trip if you are planning on visiting uh, Centerville Amusement Park. But I did definitely enjoy the old school amusement park and the old school dark ride. So thank you for joining me today. If you like these videos, please subscribe. I travel around the country, film roadside attractions, amusement parks, museums, haunted houses, and other fun stuff. If you'd like to help uh, contribute to the channel, consider uh, contributing on Patreon, $3 or more. We'll get you a postcard once a month from me to you. Also selling enamel pins in the Etsy shop, including four new Carpetbagger Cryptid Monster Face pins. Also doing uh, cameos, personalized messages, greetings, birthdays, anniversaries, just for fun, whatever you like. All that information is in the description of this video. And all that helps keep this train on the track, this ferry in the water, and this dirigible in the air. Till next time, my friends. This one's in the bag.